This convergence officially marked the end of the 2023 Workers' Day celebrations as organizers and participants met to draw the curtains to what has been described as great celebrations. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment for us to dialogue. This is a moment for us to exchange ideas, but more importantly, to take stock of what is being happening. As we ask for things to be done for us, ladies and gentlemen, on the same token, we should be asking ourselves how much we have been doing to develop this nation. Without workers, nothing work on this earth. All the nice dresses and tables and this building we are sitting on is being created by workers. That's why we are very dignified and we need to be accepted and respected. After day-long sporting activities on May 4 at Makati Square, competing institutions were awarded for their outstanding performances. Gambia International Airlines Hasim Ba was the winner of the Greasy Pole, while the most disciplined team award went to the Central Bank of the Gambia. Nawek was awarded the best dressed team. The Gambia Ports Authority was awarded the second runners-up, and the Gambia Armed Forces finished as the first runners-up. The overall winner was the Gambia Police Force, who conquered most of the athletics events, and equally volleyball for both male and female categories respectively. It is indeed a joyous moment to be here, because it's a day where each and every one of us have the opportunity to embrace our diversity. Coming from different walks of life, sitting under the same roof means a lot. Collectively, I believe each and every participating institution is a winner. Certificates were presented to companies for supporting the 2023 Workers' Day celebrations in the Gambia. A night of cheers and glamour, characterized by a performance of Nyancho and his group. And ultimately, food was served as people dine and wine to bid farewell to the 2023 Workers' Day week in the Gambia. Farmer Abadi, GRTS News.